The rappelling platform erected high above and to the right of the entrance to Cave 3 at the Nohok Chen Caves Branch Archaeological Reserve is only one of the thorns in the side of FECTAB, the Federation of Cruise Tourism Associations of Belize. Now, I'm going to direct my attack at Chaka Cove because Chaka is a certified member of Green Globe. Now, Green Globe is an organization that is United Nations Chartered. And Green Globe has as its main responsibility environmental responsibility. That is its super heading, environmental responsibility. Chaka, where is your environmental responsibility? Building a, a rappelling platform over an entranceway where up to 100,000 guests go in one year. How long is it going to take until your insurance has to kick in and somebody is buried somewhere? This is what I'm saying. FECTAB also has great objections to recent construction works carried out inside the Crystal Cave itself. You don't go in there and hammer away at anything. What happened in there is that they hammered away at a big limestone uh, platform to break up rocks to put in a pool. Put it in a pool. This is a pool that has been sitting there for 200 million years. It's got shrimp fish, and God knows what else aquatic cave life. Huh? And all of a sudden, the pool is half filled with rocks, just so people can clamber up on it to get out. Come on, come on, man. This is the entrance to the Crystal Cave. Fektab and its members are accusing Chaka Belize of uh, desecrating an archaeological site. Why? Because they've installed pathways leading down to this area. But the country manager for Chaka Belize, Valerie Woods, believes it's uh, much to do about nothing. Where, where you're standing and as we continue through Crystal Cave, that was not done by Chaka Belize. That was actually done by Niche and their uh, technical conservator. It was done to ensure that the traffic that goes through any visitor, be it one from Chaka Belize or someone else, um, goes through the system, that they utilize the rails. Why do we want them to utilize the rails? Because if I touch the rail, it's much better, obviously, than trying to touch any of the natural formations. They are purposely placed in their positions because it follows the natural pathway to go through the system. The stairway that you see here is, yes, we built it, Chaka Belize. Again, it was built with safety in mind to ensure that traffic coming down or visitors coming down um, do so safely. Um, the grip on the stairs because we are in a tropical climate and therefore when it rains and it also manages the traffic um, coming out of the system and going into the system. Um, as I said, all of, it, all of it was done with conservation in mind and with protection of what we're going to see while enjoying it. Country manager for Chaka Belize, Valerie Woods, says her company is committed to the preservation of Belize's archaeological heritage and the sustainable use of the magnificent cave system. And every step of the way, the regulatory authority, the National Institute for Culture and History, Niche, has been providing oversight guidance. People don't do, but they don't want to see anybody else do. Mm -hmm. If Chaka Cove is serious about its environmental responsibility, Green Globe, and everything else that goes with it, then remove that platform, remove that walkway, go find your own land, man. There's a lot of land in Belize. Invest in Belize. I haven't seen any investments from Chaka in Belize. But the route we use is very specific and designated, and so done um, with the supervision of Niche. We employ many Belizeans, a couple of them are also of Mayan heritage. They would be the first one to have stopped us. They have helped us in our scripting, they vet what we say on our tours, they help us to let us know that we're not embellishing the, um, the, the stories of the history of the Maya to make sure that we are on focused um, fact, if you will. Um, and they will tell you that if we did not do it, with a proper routing. That is when you put the sacred grounds at risk. So what we have done, we feel, is in the, even in the better, um, for the betterment of the site itself. The Chaka Belize boss says the Crystal Cave has always been visited and that her company will not be the last, but they are doing what they can to make sure the site remains preserved for future generations to use and enjoy. 
here we come in here come in here with our guest we usually come uh, like single files we don't try to pile up um, we have certain minutes in between we don't um, run around we keep we manage our guests so that we, we don't that's why we have railings like these where where there's a barrier you can't pass that you can't do this you can't you can't touch um, in the cave sometimes it looks so pretty the guests they, they even ask they say can we touch uh, from the beginning we say you can't touch so and 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 they understand Woods says she is willing to engage FECTAB and their concerns any day, but will only do so on the merits of facts, not fiction. I would urge them to please um, stop being irresponsible. Uh, take me on with facts, but do not think that we're going to sit by and have you just continue to repeat the false statements. We will not go away. We are here for the long haul. We employ lesions. We are proud of our safety record. We are proud of our procedures. But if you want to take us on, and if you want to make an accusation, make it based on fact. Reporting for Love News, I am Patrick Jones.